Are you somebody who is constantly going into your refrigerator, constantly going into your pantry or cupboard, constantly hungry? But maybe you're not hungry for food, you're hungry for snacks, you're hungry for sweets. Have you been called a carbaholic? Do you think stressed is desserts spelled backwards? Well, you may be right on that one. Well, I have great news for you today. I'm gonna share with you seven spices, supplements, essential oils, and foods that can kill food cravings. I'm Jordan Rubin here for Ancient Medicine Today, brought to you by DrAxe.com. And as always, we are here to help you transform your health by understanding and applying the principle that food is medicine. Folks, cravings are real. And when we feed those cravings, we often end up with unwanted pounds, unwanted toxins, a blood sugar roller coaster, and ultimately we look in the mirror years later and don't even recognize who's looking back at us. But I have great news for you. If you pay attention to what we're gonna talk about today, you can kill those food cravings and actually train your body to crave what you need. Yes, your body can do that if you expose it to the right foods. Let's get started. Number one, <clears throat> I love spices by the way. Spices are amazing. Remember I've said this before, out of the plant kingdom, fruits are good, veggies are great, herbs are awesome and spices, well, they're the bomb. Flavor bomb, antioxidant bomb, and in this case, spices can kill your cravings. The four C spices are pictured here. Cinnamon, cinnamon is great for blood sugar. It's mildly sweet and it fights candida. And here's the good news. Candida can overgrow when you eat a lot of sugar. So if you can curb those cravings, you can get a twofer. Curb the cravings, kill the candida. Bottom line, it's awesome. Cloves are amazing as well. All these spices that you're used to having in pumpkin pie or in various ethnic dishes are amazing. We don't get enough spices here in America. We need more. Cloves are very antimicrobial. There are many stories as part of middle age folklore that clove and other spices protected people from the plague. Clove is absolutely awesome and it tastes really good. Great for the oral cavity, but it also helps curb cravings. Also cardamom. Cardamom is another spice we don't use all that much, although we use it occasionally in chais, etc. Cardamom is very good for the gut and it helps curb cravings. Last but not least, coriander. Here's a nice fact for you. You all know what cilantro is, right? Coriander is the seed of cilantro. How cool is that? But coriander has some of its own benefits. It has essential oils that are great for the gut, great for the immune system, and help you detoxify. Here's the bottom line, folks. Add more spices. Cinnamon, clove, cardamom, and coriander. Remember the four C's. Spice up your food. Maybe um, you're gonna eat some grains. Maybe it's a sweet dish. Maybe it's a smoothie. Those spices, I believe, will help kill your cravings. In addition, we recommend citrus essential oils. Folks, we've all heard of the grapefruit diet. We all know that lemons are good for you, right? Citrus essential oils made from the rind or peel are great for so many things in the body, but one thing they're good for is to help curb cravings. They work on the brain, actually, and the lymphatic system, not only to help curb cravings, but to detoxify you from the junk that's in your body. I recommend using citrus essential oils two to three drops a day in water or juice. You can use it in a smoothie. There are a lot of great recipes to make uh, using citrus essential oils. In fact, the other day, my wife was making a fish dish and didn't have any lemon juice. She used lemon essential oil and it worked great. Folks, the good news is here at DrAxe.com, we have amazing information to help you understand how to better use oil. So if you want some recipes, go on over to DrAxe.com or check out our Facebook page, Dr. Axe, or our other page, Food is Medicine, and you'll find dozens of recipes of how to get citrus essential oils into your everyday diet. The third craving buster is bone broth. Bone broth satisfies on a level that is hard to explain. It's called a comfort food, after all, because it comforts your insides. Bone broth contains amino acids, proline and glycine, that we're deficient in because most of our diets don't contain them. Bone broth also contains collagen, as well as other powerful nutrients, including electrolytes, powerful minerals to support your health. Bone broth 
consumed in between meals or even before a meal can help curb your cravings. You know what doesn't? Eating bread. Last night I went out to eat. I actually got chicken soup prior to my meal while others ate the bread. And guess what? People that eat the bread want dessert later. I was just pretty much satisfied. Consume one to three servings of bone broth a day. Make it yourself. Recipe on draxe.com. You can also buy bone broth from your health food or grocery store or take a protein powder made from bone broth. Now here's a great craving killer. Vinegar. Apple cider or coconut vinegar is powerful in its effects on the gut and blood sugar. There's even research that shows apple cider vinegar is great for people with diabetes. Folks, here's what you do. A teaspoon or a tablespoon of unpasteurized apple cider or coconut vinegar right before you eat, maybe 10 minutes before. Add a little honey if you want it sweet. Maybe you can add some stevia instead. You can add some lemon juice. Folks, I really believe that the power of sour, which you get from apple cider or coconut vinegar, will kill your cravings for sweet. So do that before meals. Added bonus, boosts your digestive health. I'm Jordan Rubin here on Ancient Medicine Today, brought to you by DrAxe.com, and we are talking about ways to bust those cravings. Cravings lead to the bulge. The bulge leads to all kinds of things, such as blood sugar issues, etc. Cravings can also be linked to poor sleep, lots of stress. It's this whole chicken egg. What happened first? I don't know, but the bottom line is you can bust those cravings with common spices, essential oils, foods and supplements, and we're just getting started. Number five, minerals including chromium. Chromium is a mineral that is great to support blood sugar. Chromium and one of its variants known as glucose tolerance factor is great to support blood sugar. They've shown that diabetics typically have less chromium and also another mineral, vanadium, in their system. You can consume chromium-rich foods such as nuts and seeds, but chromium is deficient in most soils. So I recommend taking a chromium supplement. Look for fermented chromium, typically from Saccharomyces cerevisiae yeast. Chromium is really, really great. 200 to 600 micrograms a day in your supplement. Number six, perhaps my favorite craving buster is ashwagandha. Ashwagandha, known as winter cherry or even Indian ginseng, is a powerful adaptogen, helping you adapt to stress. One thing ashwagandha has been shown to do in randomized clinical trials is to bust or destroy stress-related carb cravings. Get this, stress-related overeating. Ashwagandha in its many forms, supplement form, you can do it as an infusion similar to a tea, is great to balance hormones, thyroid, adrenals. It lowers cortisol and increases DHEA and all that means better sleep, less pounds, more energy, better mood, I take ashwagandha every day and I wouldn't be without it. In fact, it might be the best long-term strategy to bust your cravings. And chia seed, these tiny dark colored seeds are packed with a punch. Chia seeds been known as runner's food because the carbohydrates it contain provide sustained energy. High in plant-based omega-3 fats, such as alpha linolenic acid, as well as fiber, chia is amazing. You can consume chia whole. I like chia ground. Grind some chia, try two tablespoons, mix it in 12 ounces of your favorite beverage, let's try water, shake it up and drink it fast because it will gel and guess what that gel does? It makes your tummy feel full. We talked about apple cider vinegar earlier, I can tell you a secret that will bust those cravings for sure. Take 12 ounces of water, a teaspoon to a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of ground chia, little bit of honey or stevia if you need it, shake it up and drink it before meals, you will eat much less. Chia seed will also give you sustained energy. It's good for the heart, good for the brain, great for your digestion and elimination. Chia is an amazing craving killer. Folks, this has been a great program because I know, and I know that you crave certain things. I do as well. And guess who else knows? Big food companies. We see their advertisements. We see where they're displayed in stores. We see 
how restaurants walk around sometimes with that cart of desserts. I don't even think those things are real, but if they were, that's not fair, right? You're sitting there eating and stroll by with a whole thing of desserts. Buffets are so popular because we love the all you can eat, but folks, we need to get out of that mode. We need to bust those cravings for salty and sweet with the following, and here they are. The four C spices, we talked about cinnamon, clove, we talked about coriander and cardamom. All of those spices help to boost your metabolism and curb cravings. Citrus essential oils, lemon, grapefruit, orange, lime, tangerine. Use it in your beverages or your meals. Remember, DrAxe.com is your go-to for essential oil information, including our brand new book, Essential Oils, Ancient Medicine, which I believe is the most comprehensive guide to using essential oils. Bone broth is great. One to three servings a day helps nourish the body on every level and helps you be satisfied. Apple cider or coconut vinegar before meals or even as a salad dressing component is a great way to kill cravings. Remember, the power of sour kills your cravings for sweets. Minerals, including chromium, are great for blood sugar. When your blood sugar is balanced, so goes your cravings. When your blood sugar's up and it's down, your cravings go through the roof. Chromium from yeast or fermented chromium, 200 to 600 micrograms a day is great. And one of my favorite craving busters, ashwagandha, take it in an extract form, take it in an infusion where you buy the root, make your own tea, if you will, is great to curb stress-related overeating and carb cravings, and that's a lot of the reason why we crave. Also helps you sleep. Did you know that when you get less sleep, you crave more sugar? It's a proven fact. Makes sense, doesn't it? Last but not least, chia seed. Chia seed taken whole, sort of mixed in your favorite beverage, or ground, a little coffee grinder. You can make it into a pudding, you can drink it, you can add it to smoothies. Chia fills up your tummy so that you're not hungry. Pretty funny, right? Now folks, here's the deal. Cravings can be uh, discussed rather lightly. We can think about them as being cosmetic, but the bottom line is when you crave, you are triggering situations in your body. Hormonal imbalance has already begun that can set you back in your weight, your heart, your thyroid, your adrenals. It can age you faster because if you give into those cravings, you will end up succumbing to some kind of situation you don't want. But best of all, we're teaching you on Ancient Medicine Today how to beat those cravings and train your body to consume what it needs. Think about this, folks. How many of you have tried to stop eating a bag of chips or crackers or cookies and your answer is, well, I can't stop till it's all gone. I know how you feel, believe me, I like that stuff too. But have you ever craved or OD'd on broccoli and salmon? I don't think so because your brain tells you when you're full. So if your brain's telling you you're hungry, try these seven food spices, oils, and supplements that kill food cravings, and I bet you're gonna be healthier for it. Folks, we're here on Ancient Medicine today to transform your health, but we need you. We need you to share this information with someone you know, with your friend, with your son or daughter, your mom, dad, whoever, because every one of us deals with cravings here in America. We eat uh, more based on our desires than we do on our needs. So let's change that around. And remember, Ancient Medicine Today is here each and every day for you to transform your health one bite at a time because food is medicine. I'm Jordan Rubin. See you next time.